Afternoon. It didn't take long. Governor Rick Perry responding today to Friday's criminal indictment by a Travis County grand jury, speaking for the first time. At issue, whether the governor was legally allowed to veto funding from the Public Integrity Unit, while his critics say he should go. Our Kevin Schwaller joining us now from the Capitol, where he'd been asking questions today of the governor and of one of his top Democratic critics. Dave, this is the indictment right here. Governor Perry says that he's going to be exploring every legal option to try to bring this situation to an end and quickly. He also says he acted within the limits of the Texas Constitution. Governor Rick Perry is standing behind his veto and he says he'll fight those he believes are motivated by politics. This indictment amounts to nothing more than abuse of power. Governor Perry said the public lost confidence in District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg in reference to her drunk driving case. Do you believe the indictment alone at all affects the public's confidence in the office of the governor? Here's what I think is really important for the people to... The governor shifted the focus back on the District Attorney. I think Americans and, and Texans who have seen this agree with me that that is not an individual who is heading up an office that we can, that we can afford to fund. Uh, 26 million Texans woke up this morning not facing two felony indictments, and their governor did. This is unbecoming of the chief law enforcement official in Texas. Executive director of the Texas Democratic Party is one of the Texans who doesn't agree with the governor. Uh, his ambitions are to run for higher office, and in the process, uh, he has abused his constitutional authority and his power here in Texas, and uh, that's why he needs to step down. And what effect this will have on possible political ambitions for the governor has yet to be seen. Now, the governor did not say today if or when he would turn himself into authorities for what's known as a booking process. We also reached out to District Attorney Lemberg's office. A spokesperson says she has no comment on the matter. We'll be following the story also for tonight on KXAN News at 9 and 10. For now, reporting live from the Capitol, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. Well, Governor Perry's attorneys are speaking out in support. They say what he did was well within the law. His general counsel insisting Perry used the veto authority given to every governor in the Constitution. Another of his lawyers believes the grand jury indictment sets a terrible precedent by prosecuting a lawful executive action. 